Hello, it's Bradley, the director of training here at Helium 10. And we have some of the best listing optimization tools on the planet here at Helium 10. And the one that we're probably most known for is Scribbles. Let me give you guys a quick introduction on how Scribbles is laid out. All right, so right here, I have one of the Project X listings, uh, one of the earlier versions of how we were creating this actually during the Project X filming on YouTube. And I'm going to show you in, in subsequent videos here um, exactly how I even populated these areas right here and, and how to write the listing, etc. But uh, I just want to give you an overview here to just kind of show you uh, how the tool actually works just to give you a rough overview and then make sure to dive into the next video so you can see exactly how to use it. So for uh, this one, I actually have a listing assigned to it. So that's why I have the ASIN right here and actually brings in the title and even the image of it. Okay. Um, at any time during this, I can save it. I can go back to my history. Any project that I was working on here in Scribbles, it will have a history of that right here. Okay. I can clear what I'm doing right here or, or, or I can import the listing from Amazon. I'll show you guys that, uh, in a later video. All right. So, uh, what basically I did here, let me just show you the list here. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do this later, but I put in mainly uh, keyword phrases right here. Okay. So this wasn't the final one that we had used, but I just put a whole bunch of phrases here. Uh, I'm going to show you later how you're actually supposed to, you know, maybe not have so many phrases here, but uh, have a mixture of phrases and keywords. But in this case, I just threw in a whole bunch of phrases here. Once I apply, it actually breaks the phrases up into the individual words. Okay. So these are all of the words that come up here. Okay. So, uh, as you can see, they're kind of color coded. Basically how this works is the number of times that, uh, this word appears down in these phrases. So decor actually is, is the word that appears the most here in these phrases. You see, we have odd home decor. We've got goth decor, home horror room decor, etc. Uh, so decor gothic and goth are all appearing the most down here. That's why that's red. Uh, orange is the next color horror, uh, appears a few times down here as well, all the way down to the ones that are the least such as house and cabinet. Now down here under the uh, phrases, this is a little bit different. What the, the color code means here is it's based on groups of search volume. So the red ones are the ones that are searched for the most. And then it goes to the orange and other colors and basically it goes all the way down to black. And there's actually no black here, meaning that there are no super low search volume, monthly estimated search volume keywords here. All right. So again, the colors mean different things here. Now, um, over here, this is where you're going to be writing the listing right over here. You know, you've got your title, you've got your bullet points, uh, you've got your subject matter, not all, uh, categories on Amazon have subject matter. And at the time of this recording, actually in Europe, you don't have subject matter available, but a lot of times you'll have at least one row of subject matter. Sometimes you'll have up to five row of subject matter in the back end of your listing. Uh, down here, we've got the uh, description and then also the back end search terms. Now, uh, as you can see up here for everything, there is a kind of like soft limit that we just, uh, built in. It doesn't mean that, Hey, we suggest that all your titles have up to 200, or if you go uh, above 100 bytes on your bullet point, that that's necessarily a bad thing. No, but we just put a standard there. You can obviously go over it and it's up to you. Now, if you have a certain category that, you know, you want, you want to put a hard limit, like say, Hey, I only want my title to be a max of 180. Well, I can do this and I'll put 180 right here. And then now I know that once I go beyond the 180, I'll go into the red right here. Okay. Uh, you can see as you're typing the listing, you can have your character count and your word count. Um, there are different things that I can do here. Like for example, spooky decor, as you can see, I have that all in caps. I could just change that to, uh, you know, uh, just capitalize the first word. I can change it to all lowercase, or I can go all caps, you know, with that. Okay. Uh, if, if you're the kind of person who wants to put like emojis in your listing, you can actually do that right here as well. Okay. And this is like undo and a redo feature right here, undo and redo. Now, 
Uh, as you're writing the listing, things are getting crossed off here. I'm going to show you that later in the next video, but that are the, these are, those are the numbers that you see here. Okay. So decor is crossed off because I have decor already here in my listing. Now, how many times do I have in my listing? It's eight times. All right. And I can just click here and it'll highlight all of those eight times where decor is listed. Uh, now here, this is crossing off only if I have the actual phrase. So horror decor, I only have once in my listing in phrase form. Now goth decor home, I don't have anywhere. That's why there's no line through it. So maybe I have the word goth, maybe I have decor, maybe I have home, but since I don't have goth decor home anywhere in here, um, basically that it's not, it's not putting a line through it. So it kind of like tells me that I need to still have that. Um, I can put right here, I can move this to show only the, you know, certain colors like, Hey, show me only the words that show up the most, the red, I can do that. Same thing. Show me the, only the highest search volume. I can do that right here. Uh, as you can see, I have tons of words I've already used. So another thing that I can do right here is I can hit this at the bottom, hide used phrases. Watch what happens when I do there. Now they're all it's only showing me the words or phrases that I haven't used yet. Uh, what else? Um, that's, that's pretty much it guys. Uh, th the key to this is actually how you write the listing, which I will go in the next video, but this should give you kind of an overview of what these different uh, titles mean, what the different functions are. Now, if there's anything I didn't cover here, uh, don't forget, just reach out at the bottom right of your screen. You'll have a chat button and you can ask our 24 seven customer service uh, about anything of these, but uh, probably the most common uh, question that people say, or the most common concern is, Hey, uh, what does it mean when I have so many bytes here? Like, am I over the limit? Again, Helium 10 is not suggesting that you keep it to 100 bytes or 250 characters. This is just a standard that people said, hey, they want as the kind of automatic max. And then you can still go over that max, as you can see here. So uh, just because it's in the red doesn't mean it's necessarily a bad thing. That's up to you. And also depending on the listing, um, uh, the listing limits that your category or your product has in Seller Central. All right, guys, make sure to check out the next videos so that you can see exactly how to get your keywords into here as I have here. Anh chị đang bán hàng trên Amazon, Scarab cung cấp các dịch vụ dành cho các nhà bán hàng trên Amazon với mức giá cực kỳ ưu đãi, như đăng ký brand với USBTO, từ Helium 10, từ Jungle Scout, logistics và warehouse, xem hình thông tin chi tiết dưới phần mô tả nhé. Thank you.